when I got out of the car and I got up next to the tree and that second round came past me, the voice in my head, and it, was, it wasn't me, it was yelling inside my head. Sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. 100% true though. And it said, start shooting, you're going to hit them. All the people in the comments that said uh, I was a wussy or whatever, there you go. There's my video right there for you to see. Okay? Hey, B. What's up? We're going back a few years. Okay. April 11th, 2018. You were involved in an incident that uh, was pretty dynamic, I would say. Yeah. I mean, uh, going from a, a normal call to uh, a situation where you have to make a tough decision, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, August 11th, you're thinking. <clears throat> August 11th, 2018. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. You feel comfortable to talk about it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've mean, i told the story a, All right. a lot of times. Let's roll with it. I hate watching the video. My hands are already sweaty. <clears throat> <sighs> I know. <sighs> Ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Roll Where's he at? Where's he at? I wasn't here, but you see the dude sitting down. Right. He's sitting down under the rock. Watch out, we have to start Get a team on the road. They want to sit Suspect found in front of Ross. Roll medical. Copy that. Friendly officers are close. All right. So, okay. So were you? Were you? So was, for everybody who was wondering, that was me. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> A lot of people. Uh, we've done what eighty videos. I'll tell you about her after I tell you about okay. Carl. So that was. 10 months after October 1st. So we did the whole October 1st story. I was there, you were there. This is 10 months later, uh, another active shooter. So I'm parked up on Cactus and on Cactus in between Jones and Decatur, it's about three o'clock, it was uh, Saturday. We get, the dispatch comes over the radio, we're getting calls from Ross Dress for Less, Blue Diamond and Decatur, that there's shots fired inside the store. So obviously I'm listening intently. 10 seconds goes by, the alert tone comes on, right? The beetle, 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 beetle means something very bad has happened. Clear radio, radio waves. Yep, it means listen up. She says, uh, we're getting multiple PRs, person reporting, shots fired, there's an active shooter in the Ross Dress for Less. The security guard went crazy and he's shooting at everybody. Mm. Mm. So once she said we had 10 to 20 PRs, it's real. That is 100% real call. So she says, Ocean 3, Ocean 44, Ocean 45, being around. That's me and another officer. The, the other officer was a 13-year officer. He is right down the street. He's at Valley View in Blue Diamond, believe it or not. He's right by the in and out there. Mm -hmm. He arrives. So I'm, I'm taking off. I'm going north on Decatur, probably about 110. Because we're getting updates, shots fired, shots fired. So he pulls in from the east side going east to west. And when he arrives, he says on the radio, Ocean 45, I'm arriving. So now I'm listening intently because he's my buddy. And he's arriving on an active shooter. Yeah. He's, and then, so we're listening. Now it's code red, the channel it means nobody can talk except Ocean 45 and Ocean 44. Me. He says, I'm taking rounds. The suspects are all black. So what does that make me think? Mm -hmm. He's getting shot. Yep. Taking you say rounds. I'm taking rounds. Taking rounds. To me, it means you're getting shot. So now I'm thinking my buddy's getting shot. All these innocent people are getting shot. And I'm still a mile away. So I'm flying now. Now I'm really flying. And I'm pissed. I'm, I'm very upset. So, but I also know I'm going to get in a gunfight. So, and I've been, I've, you know, I've been in shootings before. So I knew... We were going to shoot it out. I knew I was going to get in a gunfight. You already had your mind straight. Yeah. My, my mindset was, all right, I'm going to get into a gunfight, and this is going to be horrible. <laughs> but 
going to live through it. Comes with the job. Yeah, it comes with the job. And I always, like I tell people, I always turn my fear into anger. You know, that to me, that's how you push through. Yeah, is it scary being in a gunfight? Absolutely. But you got to push through it. So I pull into the parking lot. I see a guy standing just like this, right? He's got his arm up. He's in a black shirt, pants, uh, blue jeans, standing up. He's got something in his hand. I look at him. He's not a threat. So I'm like, okay, he's going to guide me in. Citizens will always guide yeah. you in to where you need to be. Yep. They've done it my whole career. I love it when citizens guide us in. They're like, yeah, yeah. Way. So, and he was perfect. Turns out afterwards, he was an off-duty cop. He was an off-duty Metro cop. Oh, no he sure. was brand new. Yeah, I think he had like six months or a year on. Um, I guess I could say his name, you think? Yeah. Victor Hernandez. Good job, buddy. Good job. Probably saved my life, and I'll, I'll explain why. So, and we'll play the video again because it's so short, but he says the suspects in black He's waiting for you. He's on the bench. Perfect description. Perfect. Location. Yeah. He's in all black, long black hair. He's got it. And then he says, he's sitting on the bench. He's waiting for you. He's got a handgun. So I'm looking and it's far away. As you can see from the video, people, it was, it was actually 53 yards. So I could see him. And when I saw him, he, I, he had a, I had a side profile, meaning I only saw him like this. So he was sitting, looking at me like this. So I knew that was the guy. And there was one palm tree in the video, one palm tree. So I was like, there's my cover. So I pull up next to the palm tree. I get out. And I know people always say, get out of the car super fast. I got out slow on purpose because I was so focused on what his hands were doing that I didn't want to take my eyes off him. So I went real slow because I was watching. And as soon as I cracked my door and opened it, he literally goes like this. He sits, he looks at me, and then he goes, bang. And that's the first shot you hear. It goes, yeah, off. it goes right past me. Then I get, I get to the tree. I lean out to look. He shoots another one at me or two more at me. And then I start shooting. Yeah. <clears throat> Where was your partner at at that time? Was he trying to get in a different location as far as? No, he, he got shot at. As soon as he pulled in and said, I'm taking rounds, he got shot at. A uh, suspect ran right up to his car, shot at the car, and then he drove away. Wow. Yeah. Damn. He drove away and parked like 200 yards away and just. Is just there any injuries to anybody besides the suspect? Mm -mm. No. No. But it, again, just because someone's in that uniform doesn't mean they're always going to have your back. Yeah. Because, so, okay, so play the video again, Steve. So if you look down there, he's by that trash by the can. blue pillars, that's where he's at. So there's the only palm tree. He shoots at me again. Now, when you're setting those rounds by, and can you see where they're hit, Mandy? I could, I could. And my, I had good radio discipline. Again, I'm a, I'm a firm believer of saying everything just one time. No reason to yell. I see a bunch of people yelling, shots fired, shots fired. One time, dispatch hears you. It, it wasn't loud out there. One time, expedite medical. Get, get it, make all the notifications. The dispatcher, if you get into an OIS, an officer involved, they already know. They already know. You don't got to rattle off everything on the radio. Just say, you know, shots fired, roll medical, expedite medical, make the notifications. You're good. That's she tough. knows what to do. So I was just trying to stay nice and calm. And again, I, I preach that when the guy's down, we go right up to him. Here, I took cover behind the trash can. So you can see the suspect up. He's about 20 yards in front of me. The gun's about a, two feet from his hand. And I, I couldn't find more video, but you hear me saying, if you reach for the gun, I'm going to shoot you. If he really wanted to die, mm -hmm. he would have reached for the gun. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't want to die. Because I was literally going to shoot him right in the top of his head. Within 10 seconds, uh, Sebastian Zarkowski, great guy, great cop, he comes running up and we take him into custody. So it was about, from where this is paused, about 10, 15 seconds, he was, he was in custody. In custody? Yeah, my last two rounds hit him in the, uh, in the gut. Hmm. So. From the officers are <clears throat> Who was the, the lady that was there? Um, oh, um, uh, Amanda, Amanda, I won't say her last name. She, oh, this lady here, yeah. Amanda was the manager that he was actually trying to shoot at, trying to kill inside the, the Ross. He was mad at her. This lady, um, 
after the shooting and all was said and done about four months later, I'm at overtime at UMC. And they send me off to, mm-hmm. um, well, I go to the jail for overtime. They send me off to UMC. There's prisoners get stuck in jails or in uh, the hospital sometimes and they're in there for a couple of days or weeks, or whatever. And we just sit with them. So I'm sitting with this the prisoner and he's like, Hey man, he was real cool. And he's like, you got any cool stories? So I was telling him cop stories and stuff. And, uh, and I said, yeah, I, matter of fact, I just got back, uh, to work from shooting a guy at the, the Ross. And he was like, Oh man, I heard about that. So the nurse was listening. And as I'm telling him the story, the nurse says, Hey, can you, you're going to be here for a while. Right. And I said, yeah. So she leaves and she comes back with this lady, this lady. <sighs> She was inside the Ross. Mm. Yeah, with her kids. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So traumatic for her, I bet. I can imagine. Yeah. So she watched me shoot the guy. So she wanted to meet me. Wow. Yeah. And she was praying for me while I was handling business on foot. Good people in the world, buddy. Yeah. Good people in the world. So she was crying, I was crying, and she hugged me, and she's like, can I take a picture with you? I said, absolutely. So yeah, she had her three kids inside the Ross shop, and then the security guard went crazy. So that's why we do what we do. Could have been your family. Yeah. Could have been your family. Yeah. Could have been mine. Yeah. I haven't been back to that Ross since. I can't even walk to the door. <laughs> yeah. But um, what comes after that? Um, so I didn't know the other officer left. I had no idea. I, I handled business. Uh, they whisked me away and they sequester me. Normal protocol. Normal protocol. Um, nobody talks to me. I'm not allowed to say nothing, blah, blah, blah. Um, we get to the grand jury and, uh, officer, uh, Joe Patton, great guy, real smart dude. He's running the case. He's in fit. Right, fit or cert? I think he's in fit now. Yeah, real smart guy. He's a great dude, good golfer too. Um, he's like he worked with me for a bunch of years, and he's like, "Hey, uh, Brian, I want to show you something, but I know you get mad." He's like, "So you got to promise me to calm down. So you got to promise me to stay calm." And I'm like, "Okay, what are you going to show me? I we did good, right? We did a good job." He's like, "No, man." What you're going to see is really, really going to piss you off. So promise me you'll stay calm. So I'm like, okay, I'll stay calm, Joe. What do you got for me? Because I'm, I, I have no idea what he's going to show yeah. me. So he pulls up the video and he taps me and he's like, relax. And I'm like, okay, I'm relaxed. So I see the video of the other officer driving up, getting shot at and driving away. He doesn't engage. No, and he just Does he, he just, come back? No, no. Wow. No. So I said, that's what I said. I said, well, he left. And Joe's like, yeah, he left you. And I'm like, well, comes back, right? No. He was the first one to arrive, yeah. takes rounds, and boots scoots out of there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And left well, you're me, right. Left me, to, left me to get into a gunfight by myself. Just because you have that uniform doesn't mean they have your back. Dude. Yeah. <clears throat> so and there's cops out there that know their place. Yeah. And they shouldn't be cops. In reality. Yeah. Well, everybody talks a big game, right? Like Mike shit, Tyson says, every, plan. everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Yeah. Everyone has a plan until the bullets start flying. Uh, you know, you got to have a plan. And plan is to shoot back. <laughs> if somebody's shooting at you, shoot back. Yeah, Best plan in the world. Don't, you don't betray your brother, though. No, I like, I was so angry. I was so angry. If he would have been there, I would have turned around and just punched him in the face. Mm -hmm. I was pissed. You could have showed me a picture of an alien landing in the Ross parking lot, and I would have believed that more than what I saw. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man, I was furious. I was, I could feel my face just boiling. I was like, oh. which is why Joe told me to relax oh, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. Joe knows me he knows you. and I was like, Oh, I would have, yeah, I would have hit him, but it didn't happen. Um, everything went fine. 
there is some crazy stuff to this story as well. There's not just the shooting, but when I went and I met Amanda, and she was actually going to be our one of our first guests actually on, mm -hmm. on our show. Um, I wanted to go meet her because she was the manager of the store and she was the target. Um, and I saw the video inside the store. When I say that there was guardian angels in that place, Gonzo, I he shot like 30 something rounds and I don't know how he didn't hit anybody. And I saw the video where he's tracking he's Amanda praying, praying. and he's shooting at her and he, she's zigzagging and he misses her. I, I don't know how she did not get shot. I really don't. I mean, she, he was five feet in front of her. Wow. In the video. Like, I don't know how she didn't get shot. So I wanted to meet her. So uh, I get her phone number from an employee. Uh, we meet. And she's, she's, oh, she's a mess. Okay, she was imagine. a mess. She was a mess. And she, she's crying and she's telling me, Brian, this call ruined my life. Oh, yeah. Ruined my, she's like, I can't trust anybody again. I can't go out in public. It, she's like, it ruined my life. And I, I got her to a good psychologist and, and she was, she thanked me and she said she was doing a little bit better, but, uh, you know, and she's like, do you want, she's like, Brian, you want to hear something crazy? And you know, she, she's a Christian. I'm a Christian. She's like, you want to hear something crazy? And I was like, sure. She goes, there was a voice in my head. She goes, I'm sitting here typing on my computer in my office. Now her office is like two doors removed from the store. So when he came in and started shooting, she didn't hear it. Right. So she's typing and she says somebody screamed in her in her ear, get up, get up now, run, run. Wow. So she's like, what? And it's yelling at her, get up, get up now, run. So she's like, okay, okay. So she stands up, she opens the door, she takes two steps out. He's standing right there with the gun. She starts running. He's tracking, misses every shot. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. So she's like, Brian, the voice in my head was not me. And it was yelling at me. So I said, you want to hear something even crazier? Because I had voices in my head when I was shooting the guy. When I got out of the car and I got up next to the tree and that second round came past me, the voice in my head, and it, was, it wasn't me. It was yelling inside my head. Sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, 100% true though. And it said, start shooting, you're gonna hit him. Wow. So I start shooting. And you see my first two rounds were a little fast. I just skipped him off the top, just missed his head by like six inches. I could see him going right off the, off the, 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 the uh, yeah, the cement. And the voice says, come down, you're high. So I, third shot, I bring my sights down, pull the trigger again. The voice says, relax, take a breath. So you see me in between the third and fourth shot, you see me go and take a breath. And then I'm front sight. But the voice said, yeah, relax, That's take insane. a breath. So I took a breath. Round four and five, hit him. The voice says, you got him. And then I hear a, Ugh, mm. and he falls over. Mm. Mm. And I got the, I got the goose pimples. Yeah, dude. That's insane, man. I never, so, heard, I never heard that story. A part of the story. Yeah. I don't tell everybody that because they'll secret, think I'm huh? freaking crazy. You are Looney Tunes. So, yeah, it's not like you want to walk around telling everybody, yeah, I heard voices, I voices. in my head, but I don't. It was, and my other two shootings, no voice, no nothing. Yeah. It was only this one that it said, I'll never forget it. It said very quickly, it was all within about four seconds as I was shooting it. You're, um, start shooting, you're going to hit him. You're high, you're high, come down, relax, take a breath. You got it. Like it was that quick, but it was in my ears, very loud. Some people say it's training. To me, I say it was the good Lord above. A little, little intervention there. But uh, the fact that she heard it and I heard it, and we don't even know each other, yeah. and she's like, "You want to hear something crazy?" And then I'm like, "You want to hear something crazy?" It just goes to show that when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. And it's I, not. It's not. I've always said the right? Lord puts me where He needs me. Where I'm needed, he'll put me there. And if I'm supposed to be in, in three shootings because I need to save people, then that's where I'll be. And there's no rhyme or reason. I don't ask. I just say, you know what? Uh, I handle business wherever I go when my time's up. If I would have got shot that night or that day, 
and it ended my life, I would have been okay with it. When's the uh, last time you talked to her? It's Amanda. It's been like six Amanda. months. She's she actually just off the grid. She's off the grid, bro. Yeah. Well, she might be dealing with some issues. And I'm worried. She just well, literally you know, fell off the grid. <clears throat> that's a normal citizen dealing with a traumatic situation. We, yeah. When we were on patrol, did we dealt with traumatic situations every call, yeah, every day, yeah, for twenty years plus. You know, and you have to have outlets. You have to have people that you can trust, who you can talk to 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 get that shit off your chest. And yeah. you really don't want to bring it home if you don't have to. But sometimes bringing it home is the best place to bring it home because they know you one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, they know how you tick. So yeah, well, that's yeah. It's funny you say that because when we when it was all said and done, we had the body cam footage and my kids were watching it and my daughter just starts bawling her eyes out. Mm. And I, it didn't click. It, I didn't understand, understand exactly why. And then she says that it was hard for her to watch me coming into an ambush because the other guy left. So now I'm coming in here by myself yeah. And this guy is sitting, waiting to kill me. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I didn't even think of that. But as her, as my daughter sitting there looking at me, like this dude's sitting, waiting to kill my dad, and it, it affected her. Well, I could definitely see that. <clears throat> and the thing is, is this, Brian, between you and the officer that left, you had your mind straight. Yeah. The officer probably had in his mind that he's probably going to die today, and that's why he did what he did. You. In my personal opinion, weren't going to die today, and that's why you performed the way you performed. So, hell no, I wasn't dying. No, fuck that guy. Yeah, man. Like I say, you 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 going to try to kill me? Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. I'm definitely going to get you. <laughs> that's a great clip, dude. Good story, man. I I didn't hear know about the uh, yeah. intervention. That's amazing. Yeah. But yeah, it was uh, it was a it was a crazy day. Man. It was well, a crazy day. This will be the last time we talk about it, brother. And that was actually on Zeb uh, Sebastian Zarkowski, the officer. That was his birthday. Yeah. Wow. So now, yeah, it's like I never forget his birthday because it's the anniversary yeah. of the shooting. Yeah. Or the anniversary of the shooting. Hell of a way to remember a birthday, huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> These guys will always have something to talk about. Yeah. So. And the other officer, he, he got fired. I forgive him. I just will never forget. Well, you, I can't work with somebody that's, you mean, if you leave me to get ambushed, yeah, I'm not going to, mm. I'm not going to work with you ever again. I mean, mm. <laughs> be stupid to, to, to yeah. you know, come on. Yeah. You can't, you can't do that, man. Yeah. You can't do that. So, wow. Yeah. It is what it is. Dang. All right. So that's do that. Do you have any comments? All the people in the comments that said, uh, I was a wussy or whatever. There you go. There's my video. Right there for you to see. Okay, that's it. You can call me whatever you want. Uh, Sticks have, and stones may break my bones. <laughs> my names will break. I said I've done enough in this city. I don't have to prove myself to anybody. Yeah. Trust me, yeah. <laughs> especially not to, to yeah. keyboard warriors. Yeah. If you want to put on the uniform and go out there and do it yourself, you get back to me. Huh. Till then, get, be get, a keyboard get warrior. The academy first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, if you have any uh, comments about that shooting. Hey, you think I did a good job? Did that? Hey, how many donuts how many am I going to get? Oh, my God. Well, not to be biased. A 12. No, I can't get 12. I missed my first two rounds. missed them. Yeah, but you're 53 yards away. Doesn't matter. Not all right, acceptable. all right, all right. Not acceptable. Okay. The first two shots of the head, I should have hit them. All right, so. What would of course, I could barely see them and I have my eyes That's closed. That's what I'm saying. Think. That's what I'm saying. You got this poor eye vision anyway. <laughs> this was... This was five years ago or six years ago. I had no donuts then. Screw it. No donuts. I was going to say, I, I'll you know what? Let's do this. Let's have our watchers wait and give you a donut rating. Okay. Yeah. You guys can rate me. You tell me how many donuts I should get. And it's okay. You won't hurt my feelings. Trust yeah. me. Because I'm already hard on myself already. Yeah. I know I don't deserve 12 donuts. I don't deserve anywhere near 12 because I missed the shots. I mean, I had good radio discipline, blah, blah, blah. Everything else was good. But again, Shots count. And even at that distance, I made it when I needed to mm -hmm. at the last two, but the first three, and, uh, you know, is what it is. So you guys can rate us or rate me. Uh, like, subscribe, ring the bell. 
If you have any questions for us, you can send in video questions now at ask at LVCOPSTV. And audio. And, and audio. audio. Yeah. So you send it to us, we'll play your video on air. Yeah. And then we'll answer it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right on we won't video. judge you. Or right on video. Yeah. Yeah. Video. Yeah. 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 We won't judge you. Um, special thanks to Zangeet Jiu Jitsu. Go down and get your butt kicked. I did. I'm still bleeding in my chest. Bleeding on the inside. <laughs> Thank you, Simply Vegas. Thanks for watching. And for those still serving, have a safe tour duty. And make a difference in someone's life. Stay classy, Las Vegas. Always. One Sam 5 and one Sam 6, copy a 425 call. Copy. One Sam 5 in route. One Sam 6, copy, in route.